Netroots Nation, my relatives, my family, I got to tell you all how powerful we are as a grassroots movement working all across this country. You have to be proud of who we are and what we stand for. I myself, I come here on the prayers and the vision of my ancestors who have lived, fought, suffered, and sacrificed for thousands of years on this land. As an indigenous woman, I am proud of the ancestry that I stand from. It is a legacy of leadership. My grandfathers and grandmothers who were great chiefs of the Northwest that I stem from, but their vision is wholly unique. It is not new to this day, but it is going to be new once we are governor of Idaho. Once we are governor of Idaho, people will see what it truly means to be an Idahoan. People will truly see what it means to love our land and to love our people. We're going to drive more than politics into our communities. We're going to drive back love and compassion, humanity that deserves to be in our communities, in our homes, and in our governance. As a representative, I have been honored and privileged to serve my people. And I will tell you that working in our communities, the greatest difference is for me as a progressive is to show the people, whether they're Republican or Libertarian or Independent, that when you best serve the people by serving with compassion, by listening and being sincere, you are truly the representative of the people. And that is something that is missing in our government today. When people ask me, why am I running for governor? Because there's never been a woman who ran in my state who won a major nomination. We have never had a woman serving as a chief executive officer in Idaho. Nor have we ever had an indigenous representative win a governor's seat in this country since the day it was established. It's about time that we have a representative who is truly of this land. My blood runs through the vein of every single river and stream and tree that grows on this land in this country. My voice stems from their spirit and their energy. My legacy is theirs. So the vision of us moving forward from this seat as governor of Idaho will carry on through the new America because we are flipping our state for the better, not to be blue. We're not flipping it to be purple. We're doing it for the greater good because we're showing that we are against the cronyism. We are against the corporate corruption. We are truly about reflecting the good of the people. And that is why we are winning in a state that is held by Republicans as we see today. You are looking at an individual who is capable of representing Republicans, capable of representing Libertarians and Independents and Democrats, but we are above the political party system. And I'm proud to say before all of you here how simple it is to just have that level of integrity, to listen to the people's needs and to serve them for the public good. We can do that. So while it is my honor to stand before you and just to say this much that we are running in our state that people think is an unflippable, unwinnable red state, people say it's conservative. How can a young woman of color win in such a state? And I will tell you that I work hard. One, I'm sincere, true to the voice, the words that were bestowed upon me. And yes, I have a legacy of leaders that speak through me to this day. But the most and the greatest privilege that I have is simply that when you fight, when you are someone who comes from an impoverished community that's very rural, and you fight for a people, regardless of their political position, regardless of their creed, 
regardless of their gender or their age. You have to show a people to care about their government again. Because our government works, it's just that we have bad actors. We have bad actors in the governor's seat, in the lieutenant governor's seat, in the supermajority in our legislative house. And we have an opportunity to flip it to be better. And right now, I need everyone's help because I cannot do this alone. But I promise all of you that if you help us turn Idaho for the better, we will flip this entire country. I will say that again, because once we flip Idaho, once we are in the governor's seat, we will show everyone that we can take back our country for the greater good. So this is our time. There is no secret to it. It's a matter of us getting to the doors, getting to our neighbors and relatives, showing our true compassion, being empathetic, and then showing that we truly love our land as much as we love each other. This is the Love Army. This is the Love Nation. And by and above all means, we are the new America. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. Love you all.